Aliens and Worms, I'm Cosmicat. Thanks for tuning in today. It's been a long time since I've spoken to you all, but I'll get into the details in a moment. Today's drawing is of my character Iyaku. This, actually, is the first drawing I did of Iya's redesign. I'd been thinking a lot about how Iyaku's head would work, and I realized one of the problems I was facing was the amount of eyes I'd given him. Reducing it to just two helps add a bit of expression to his face that was already hindered due to the shape of his mouth, and makes sure there's enough space in his skull for an adequately sized brain. I also use this drawing as a way to practice a different line art style, and also as an attempt at more involved backgrounds. I'm not incredibly happy about how the background turned out, but I'm glad I tried it regardless. Now, I intend for this broadcast to be a bit shorter than usual. I wanted to address my absence and kind of ease my way back into things. I took a break back at the end of December because I had went home for the holidays. I decided I wanted it to be a proper vacation, so I didn't push myself to do anything too involved. When I came back, I had every intention of starting right back into things again. Unfortunately, it didn't end up working out like that. I had difficulties deciding what to talk about, got myself all worked up, and in the end, I did nothing at all. However, that doesn't mean I haven't been doing art. On the contrary, I've been incredibly motivated within the past month and a half. I've hammered out full visual references of many of my story's main cast, including Iyakum's redesign, and I've been testing different line art styles and coloring methods, and I really think the work I've been producing lately is the best I've ever done. Unfortunately, not a lot of that has been recorded. For some reason, I tend to get this notion in my head that once I start recording, the drawing has to be perfect, otherwise I have to scrap the whole thing. In fact, this is often why my videos start after I've already gotten a solid sketch down. The pressure of coming up with a good idea on recording makes it difficult for me to get anything done, and the easiest solution for me is to have already have a plan in place before setting up the software. I want to try to get better at conquering that fear in the future and being able to showcase my sketching process, but I don't know how long that'll take. Another factor that's been hindering me lately is my mental health. I've gone on these incredible streaks of high productivity and motivation, but then the lows are really low. It's been difficult to manage because I feel like if I have the inspiration, I must draw, otherwise the moment will be wasted. But afterwards, my emotions tend to crash, and I have to spend time doing nothing to give myself the time to recharge. It's been a lot of ups and downs, and the uptime hasn't really led to any motivation to do anything except write or draw. I'm glad I've been able to work on the things I love so much, but I do miss making videos and sharing my thoughts as well. At this point, I have a few drawing sessions recorded, ready for me to edit, so I should have a decent buffer. Having videos saved up helps relieve the pressure that I always have to be creating and always have to be recording, and in turn helps my mental state when it comes to approaching this channel, so I hope you'll stick around to see what I have in store for you. That's about all I have to say for now. If you like watching me draw or listen to me talk or somehow both of those things, feel free to subscribe so you can keep up to date on my uploads. I'm really going to strive to keep up with at least weekly uploads if possible. If you'd like to see all my art, including screenshots of my drawings as I go along, consider supporting my Patreon. Every little bit helps to keep me doing art and making videos like this, so that's why I've made sure that even $1 supporters can see every drawing I upload to my Patreon. I also like to write things about the characters there, so you get to learn more about them. Honestly, I have to make a proper video soon explaining the tiers and rewards and such. If you can't or don't want to support financially, I've always got social media links in the description if you'd like to keep up with me on a day-to-day -day basis and see other art I've uploaded. Likes, retweets, reblogs, and all the like help put my art out there for more people to see and always helps my motivation. Knowing you love what I do makes it worth it. Well, this has been Cosmic Cat and Transmission.